In this video of WCF, we'll start working with the per call instance management. Basically, per call instance management will ensure that when a client will make a request and the service will give a response, after that, the instance of the service will be destroyed. That means a new instance will be created at each specific request. And those requests are basically user independent, means doesn't matter which particular user is making the request, but for each request made by any particular user or session, a new instance will be created. So let's see practically how to start working with the per call instance management. So now let's get started with the implementation of per call instance context mode and here in that particular context I have taken a new application with the name WCF instance mode where I have taken an interface which is decorated with service contact as we used to do earlier also. So in this interface I service I have just taken one operation contract method named int counter. So by the time I will implement this particular method what I am doing I am just taken, taking a simple variable count which is initialized with 0 and I am returning the value after incrementing that every time. Alright, so this is the purpose of this counter function and as at the top as you can see I have decorated this class service with the attribute service behavior where I have changed the service behavior to per call. How? In instance context mode is equal to per call alright so here, here it is an enum in which you can get multiple options like per call per session and single so in this particular video we are going to cover per call and in coming to we will cover about the per session and single now since I have made the changes I will build this particular application first let's build the solution complete all the projects associated will be built and now here the server is ready all right along with the application configuration whatever is required I have done so we have already seen about this application configuration in our previous videos where we learned how to create the WCF service so once you are done with all these things you can simply write this particular simple code and you can start the server all right so as it is running now Let's switch to the another application here which is basically the client application and here in the client application it's very straightforward thing I have just taken a couple of uh, controls here one is the label here at the top and another one is the button so as soon as I will click the button I'll call this counter function alright so everything is being done uh, the service reference is already being done here alright so if you want how can you do that so for that you will come here in uh, app.config here you can find the uh, base addresses so I'll just copy this localhost123 alright and here to add the reference I'll simply say add service reference and I'll paste the base address here we'll say go and since you got that alright so inside this service you will get counter function so just change the name here and you can add the reference and as here I have given it a name called my service so here I have included WCF instance client which is nothing but this particular project and inside that you will find my service alright now here the proxy class of this service class is generated with the name service client and this client is the instance of that which I initialized and every time I'm clicking the button I'm calling this counter function and whatever the number will come I am converting that to string and I will set that to the label which I have already taken in the UI so server is running let's execute this as well and click here so you can see every time when I'm clicking it is not incrementing the reason is like since it is per call instance context mode so after every call when I'm clicking the button one new call is being initialized and at the end of that the service instance will be destroyed so every time you will click a new instance will be there and it will start from the beginning so every time this number is basically coming from 0 to 1 again from 0 to 1 alright so that's why no further increment is being shown in the next video we'll see about the per session in instance context mode and there we'll check 
like whenever I'll click the button, this uh, number will be incremented because it will be there, the session will be there and on that particular session, the same service instance is going to work. So this is all about the per call instance context mode.